Oh, that's right. And my nostrils are flared, and it's not because oh, it's derby no. week. It's not derby it's not week. It's not Dior, is it? What are you splashed no. on the neck this morning? Uh, it's the Hugo boss this morning. Oh, it's Hugo oh. today. He's got, top oh, shelf. Wow. That wow. is top shelf. <laughs> I thought I'd treat you, Zave. I thought I'd treat you. <laughs> Don't let me get too close. I might lick you. This is um, multi-centred. I love this. Yeah, who knows? Week to week. Beautiful. Now, exactly. mate, busy, busy week for you. Uh, obviously, well, West Coast, both WA sides have been done by North uh, under the Clarkson spell. Uh, day off today, but uh, how have you reviewed the last couple of days? Yeah, it's um yeah not not a great start to the year. Yeah. Not not where we were hoping to be going to the Derby in round three, but um yeah we've had a great few days um, review day on Monday, so that was uh, that's always a tough one after a loss. But mm. um, where do like, you sit in those meetings? By, out of interest, I'm about third row, just on the right. Right, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah just... you're not in shot there. Nah. Mm. Sometimes nah. the coach just picks who's in front, oh, so really? you're perfect. Oh, yeah. geez, there's oh, a bit wow. of a gap kind of in the middle. There's either guys at the front or guys at the back. Oh, so right. there's a couple in the middle, and they're they're, they, straight, they're, they're that's yeah. where that's where the um, scope goes. Yeah, Bang. I was gonna say, who goes? Oh, I'll sit up there, or they just late into the room and go, oh, geez, I got that seat. Yeah, and it's usually a bit of a change up but the guys up the back are your Lukey Ryan oh, yeah they're just yeah. chilling up the back yeah, yeah no, I used to sit next to Cyril because he never got in trouble oh really nah. yeah no, so it was like a magnet <laughs> Clark I would look away and I'd just be under his little halo but uh, mate disappointing loss obviously uh, a thriller in the end yeah. um, have you gone back to look where the ball was or just thought bugger it it is what it is no nah, it, was, it was kind of just a bugger it's not going to really change much I was I was out there I was I think about third Third in line, and um, you ran the other direction. Yeah, no, I was, I was trying to keep the boys away because the last thing we need is have about th- th- yeah, ten, ten yeah. blokes trying to yell at the umpire. Yeah. So I was trying to let Moose Alex just deal with it, and unfortunately, yeah, it went the other way. But I think, yeah, I don't think it really changed the game too much. We, we were pretty disappointed with the rest of the game the way we played. So Jeez, now, now, just a knee jerk. I went, "Hey, mate, how you had a good week?" And you went, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do in your downtime? Just you sort of shake things off, and you know, hopefully, you know, just have a footy free head for a bit. Yeah, I think immediately post game, it's just trying to process kind of what happened, and from an individual point of view and a team point of view, because yeah, it's pretty disappointing, and um, we wanted to be two and zero at this point of the year, and so does everyone, but. Um, I guess, but where we are now, there's a lot of improvement left in us. And I think the biggest disappointment um, as a collective is that we're just not playing the footy that we believe we're capable of. And we're not even close to scratching the surface of that. And that's the disappointing thing. If you play your best footy and you get beaten by a better team, you can kind of cop that on the chin, but we just don't feel like we're giving ourselves best chance. So uh, we think we've got a lot of improvement left in us, but yeah, like I said, today will be a good one just to have a day off, just not think about footy too much. Mm -hmm. um, Really. So you I need guess. us to really drill just down the floor yeah. just to really put <laughs> it in the full. How lucky are you day off in your come in the triple oh, That's right. That's right. And, and also too, and I've said it, before, how do you get rid of the negativity as well? Because it, it gets, I was saying, it gets so savage online sometimes. Try being called fat online every day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> breaks your heart. I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is a bit going on at the moment out in the, in the, uh, in the media about us and mm. there's, uh, people are pretty quick to turn. So, um, what about social media? Do you even touch that or do you just go, I'm not looking? Yeah. You got to try and avoid it. It's, mm. Yeah. We've, we've spoken about it a little bit, um, kind of in general, um, as a club kind of leading up to the season and what it's going to, with the height and expectations. Mm. And I guess if you, if we're going to lose a couple of games, this is always going to happen. Um, they, they expected more of us and we expect more of ourselves. So, I guess for us, we're probably not trying to prove them wrong. We're more trying to prove mm. us right and what yeah. we're doing internally. So, um, yeah, we've got to try and block that out. But um, each guy deals with that differently. Now, uh, one for Luke Jackson, who uh, copped a bit of heat yesterday in the paper. Uh, he's only new to the footy club. I, I mean, imagine if, uh, for example, Andy Brayshaw uh, copped a fair old clip. You've known him, you're good mates with him. You wrap your arms around him, give him a cuddle or, or whatnot. How's Luke Jackson, new to the footy club? I'm sure you're your mates and stuff, but the, the depth of relationship probably isn't there yet. How's Luke Jackson coping with the criticism on the back page of the paper? And uh, how did you wrap your arms around the big fella? Yeah, I think it was um, yeah pretty unfair, to be honest. I don't think he's the only one that's a little bit out of form. And um, it's definitely not on him, um, mm. that's for sure. It's, it's on the whole collective, um, from a team point of view, the way we're playing at the moment. So I think it's really unfair to us to put a lot of the blame on him and um, kind of single him out like that. But as you said, it's it's our job to chuck our arms around him and 
we're still kind of, like you said, understanding what makes him tick and, and how he deals with that kind of stuff. But all we can do is support him and make sure he really understands what we value internally from him, what we want him to bring to game day. Mm-hmm. And um, I feel like you, you look at the way he's playing, he's getting his hands to a lot of balls. It's just a matter of time before they start sticking. And mm. he takes four marks inside 50 and then the narrative changed pretty quick. So Back in my day, mate, we used to grab a six-pack and go sit by the river. <laughs> hey, we're not doing that anymore. Well, Sean actually had a big barbie on Sunday. Oh, so all, all the boys came around. Um, that was great. So he, Last pay for everything. Yeah, I was going to say, hey, bring wow. your own meat. Well, he's messaged me, can you please bring some meat? Can you bring some <laughs> chairs? Yeah, I don't have yeah, yeah. chairs. Oh, and, chairs oh, well. the wow. chairs. I'm not bringing a slice of meat. I'll give you the tip. <laughs> Mate, Derby Week. Was it last year? Did you give away 150 or did you get 150? No, nah, I gave it away. You gave away the 150? Yeah, I, I still don't know how it's 150. So, Michelle, 50 yeah. metre penalty. Three you of give, them. You've got to have done something to give away a 50. And then, mm. how many 50s would you give away in a year? Individually, one, yeah, one, one maybe. Oh, really? <laughs> you've done the, you've done the trifecta. Yeah. Bang. I think they just wanted to set set the tone and just let, let us know that they're, Sorry, they're mate, the boss. I thought you were on the receive the 150. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh nah, it was the same game, game that I got me jumper ripped. It was the they yeah. were tagging Andy Brayshaw. That's and right. I was trying yeah. to yeah, stand up for him. But yeah, yeah it was a bit of push and shove. Jack and, Redden? Yeah, Jack He's Redden. no good, that bloke. Uh, no, nah, we, we've, always, we've always bumped heads. Yeah. But... He has a crack. Which He's is a shock at you, Red Eye. Well, time shocking. to get him back. Get him all back this week. Nah, yeah, that der- Derby weekend, uh, you're the stage of the career now, and it's finals last year, of course, where Derby's are great and the highlights of the old days where Pavin and Gardner were going at it. it. Are you in the mould now where it is just a pretty standard game of footy? Uh, the, the, the supporters obviously passionately love, mm. but you can't let your emotions get too high either way. Yeah, internally, it's very much you're preparing like a normal game. So. Um, there's, there's more of a build up externally, which yeah. is great. Um, there's more being written about it. There's, yeah, there's a lot being kind of written into uh, what it means and what it means to both clubs, all that mm. kind of stuff. But yeah, internally it's the same prep, the same everything. So, um, yeah, we don't kind of buy into the, the whole hype and build up too much, but obviously there's a bit of extra feeling there and, um, the history between the two clubs is pretty fierce. So, um, it's exciting. We really enjoy it. How's um how's the crowd? Does it differ? Are they more fever pitch because it's like next door neighbours all together? How's it go? Yeah, it's it is a bit more kind of intense. Um, and you kind of know the difference between if it's your home derby or your away derby. Oh, the, the away okay. derby's not really friendly. Oh, is no. that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Not, a, not a great feedback mm. coming from anywhere <laughs> in the ground. Yeah. Well, even <laughs> though it's it's like both teams are in Perth, like mm. they don't get as many tickets. So if it's your away derby, mm. you don't get any. Yeah, your members don't get any tickets. So it's all West Coast. So. So there's 60,000 there. It's probably 55 of the home oh, team. So it's, ouch, yeah. ouch. Yeah. I didn't know that. The oh. ruck stuff at the moment. Uh, so I don't want to go too deep into it, but there's been a little bit of criticism of the forwards, the backs. I think you'd be pretty open and say that the mids are, need to start pulling the weight mm. as well. How, how's big Sean Darcy, Jackson? Uh, big opportunity in the ruck this, this week with obviously no Nick Nat. That must be an exciting prospect for you midfielders, but also... Uh, big Shawnee, who won the medal last year with a tremendous game. You must be looking forward to getting that midfield group together. Yeah, we are. We are. We're really excited. Um, I think from a midfield point of view, there was a lot of um, excitement coming into the season and what we can do and what we can achieve. And obviously the first two weeks we've been beaten. So um, we're, we're getting to work. Yep. We're, we're getting back to basics. We're understanding what makes us the midfield. Um, what, what's a basic for you? Uh, for me, it's uh, for the whole group, to be honest, yeah. we're speaking, we're talking about it, it's a contest. So yeah. getting it done on the inside um, where we feel like we're getting beaten in there at the moment. And they had some big guys playing on the weekend, Cunnington, Luke oh, yeah. Davies, Hugh that's Greenwood. Strong, that's oh. Strong's Cunnington. He's a, he's a tree. Like oh. he can't be moved. <laughs> Sean Darcy tried to end him and, oh. and he still managed to get the ball away. He Jeez. is he's uh, incredible. From the outside, he's one who battled cancer last year. Oh, wow. From the outside, and I'm sure you'd have an uh, ultimate respect as well. Great to see him play, but the way the big fella just wanders in. <laughs> every every possession he gets, he earns it. Like he oh, puts yeah. his head over the nut and he gets it. So And he, he's a farmer, like a dairy farmer. Jeez, I still yeah. remember that Brownlow medal where the – and Ben Cunnington's in and around the dairy farms. So the ad played 4,000 times. <laughs> but he's a farmer as well, mate. It's tough wow. as you get. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And how's Nat Fife going? What's going on there? It's going well. He was um, really positive yesterday, so – we had a lighter session yesterday, which he's still kind of recovering and um, getting his foot right. But I think his plan is to see if he can get out on the track tomorrow and push his fitness for the weekend. So um, from what I was gathering from his kind of conversation yesterday, he's really confident and really excited um, about how his body's feeling. But it's just whether he gets through tomorrow. Yeah, last week how we spoke about injuries that uh, 
you had the bru- bruised knee that end up being a broken oh, knee. Yeah. It'd be tough. <laughs> Get over it, buddy. But yeah. plantar fasciitis is not one of those <laughs> things that you think is a big. They are. Have you ever had plantar fasciitis? No. It is excruciating. Whoa. It does Fifey hobble around after yeah. he's been running. Yeah, we well, he, he um yeah he said it's. He's had some tough injuries, yeah. like some stuff that he's played. He's played with a broken leg. Like he literally yeah. played on it. Jeez. And Jeez. yeah, this thing for him to keep keep him out of the like game on the weekend, mm. it must be pretty sore. I you know, you know what Robert Harvey did? Mm. Have you heard the story? He bash it yeah, he jumped off a table, snapped, snapped it. Yeah. Oh. yeah, to get it to snap a bit quicker than naturally. Oh, you're so, kidding me. Yeah, because once oh. it snaps or whatever, you can, can heal, heal a bit quicker right. and a bit freer. But uh, oh, last one from me, mate. Uh, West Coast this weekend, they got their game style up and running, bit of speed. Jermaine Jones at the, off the half back. What do you expect from the Eagles? Uh, to be honest, we will go into in depth with them tomorrow, but we're expecting um, them to take the game on. I think there's been a bit of talk about that they want to move the ball faster, and I feel like that's kind of going to start from their back line. They're slingshotting from there mm. with, like I said, Jones, and um, I think their midfield got on top on the weekend as well. So we're expecting some um, a lot of fight from their senior midfielders yep. and the young guys coming through as well. A bit of energy, so. Um, we're looking forward to it. If I'm to see a headlock in the first <laughs> quarter, who's the most likely eagle to headlock you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would have said Jack Redden. Redden's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. safe. <laughs> Come on, free this weekend. <laughs>